Hey folks, I uh, was up to like 2 a.m. playing some arcades last night while working on the podcast and such, and I don't remember what the hell I was doing, so we're going to roam around for a bit and try and figure out what I was up to. Um, since I last streamed, I have made some sweet armor, and with it, some really sweet weapons that are supposedly katanas, but don't actually look like katanas. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna kitty out. And try and remember what the hell I was up to. Okay, so it's quest three. Use fragrant powder on the teapot fountain. Okay. Apparently the teapot fountain was stanky. Okay, so I have something down there or something way the hell out there. I guess I will go down to six. Use hot springs, heated stone to cook pale razor beak egg. Okay, I remember getting the pale razor beak egg. I had to check something. For some reason, Twitch dashboard was still saying I was offline, so I had to actually load my Twitch stream to make sure it was really live and I wasn't just talking to myself like I usually do. And there are people. There are people in the stream. So, hi, people in the stream. I do not know if the Twitch lower latency thing actually is doing shit, but uh, it seems to be less behind my voice. Okay, there's a glowy thing. That is a heated stone. Let's cook this egg on the heated stone. Okay. That was exciting. I'm guessing I just missed that quest when I was down here yesterday. Oh man, there's a Flynn and a crow in one. How are y'all? I know it's not Final Fantasy XIV. I'm kind of taking a break from Final Fantasy XIV until the launch of Heavensward, but I am absolutely planning on streaming Heavensward on the morning it launches because I have the day off work. So, yeah, I plan on getting up at the ass crack of dawn for me, or what is otherwise known as my normal wake-up time. And trying to play when the this, this servers come back up. Does it, did it? Did the message say I was playing Final Fantasy XIV? No, I tweeted saying it was. Does the does the stream itself say I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV? Cause like sometimes Twitch does screwy shit like that, like, and it won't update my thing when I actually tell it to update my thing. So yeah, I'm checking my stream. No, it says I'm playing Arcade. You guys are just being cheesy.
you know, I also play Wildstar and World of Warcraft and Trove and Lego Universe and <laughs> not Lego Universe, Lego Worlds. Yeah, I play a lot of uh play a lot of games. I don't know, right before the launch of uh, Heaven's Word, I felt like I needed to take a break and play some other stuff, and um, Tam has been playing this game, so I'm like, okay, I'll give it another shot. And it's actually much improved over previous... Because uh, I, I played this in Alpha, and mostly in Alpha, the, uh, the, the community was super toxic, and... It's not like the community is anywhere near as good as, say, Final Fantasy XIV, but it, at least it's not, you know, openly teabagging me when I open the chat channel, so. Um, and they didn't try and capsize my boat as I swam across, like, this uh, little channel early on, so. That's progress, like, that's the thing that happened in Alpha. I've not gotten anywhere close to the end game in this game. Um, like this is probably the highest I've ever gotten, and I'm 28. Um, I think my other character is like 22 ish. But my cloak looks badass. Tam and I ran the first dungeon last night, and uh, this was run of the rewards. I assume you mean in PvP, because, like, I really don't care about PvP. Which is weird that I'm playing a game that is so widely known as being open PvP, but, yeah, I could care less about that aspect. I enjoy all the other little systems, like the crafting and the ability to build boats and crap like that. And my experience with this game may be short-lived. Um, I mean, I know I'll stop playing it mostly when Heaven's Word comes out, and I'm working on leveling over there. Yeah, the server I'm playing on is actually, it's not officially flagged as the role-playing server, but it is apparently the one they are making the role-playing server, so... We'll just have to see how that community shapes up, and if it is as PvP thirsty as the other communities are. Because um, honestly, like, that bloodthirsty component seems to have mostly disappeared, and it's a bunch of people that enjoy faffing around. I don't know, like, honestly, I I have no problem spending money on a game. I just didn't see much of anything on the cash shop that was worth buying. Um, I mean, I'm a patron user, so... 
I will very rarely play a free-to-play game and not take the subscription option just because I don't like playing free-to-play games in free-to-play mode. But like I said, I really didn't see much of anything on the cow shop that was worth buying. Or at least not anything that would have, you know, really helped me through the leveling process. So maybe they've dialed that back? I don't know. I didn't even know this game had a lifetime sub option. Like, I know uh, Secret World did, and I'm a lifetime sub over there. Um, I just haven't played it in a year or so. That was about the best hundred bucks I ever uh, spent, though, on that lifetime. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know you can straight up buy crafting materials off the auction house, not the auction house, but the uh, market board. Um, so I guess in theory you could, like, craft some really overpowered stuff with that. Ah. Is that what factors into the whole regrade system? Honestly, I think the next zone over will start me in the PvP areas. So I will see how the game is like after that. Yeah, I saw regrading, I just haven't seen anything about it. Like, and I keep seeing messages of people that are getting, like, heroic or legendary or God knows what else adjective uh, items from regrading. I have a weird stance on pay to win. Like, I feel like it doesn't really bother me when it doesn't affect me. And when it begins to affect me, then I'll change my mind. Um, but, you know, all I'm doing is investing time right now in this game, so it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I'm paying a subscription, which is mostly to make the game more playable. Because, um, God, the labor thing is painful. Um, last night, I had managed to get my labor down to a 1,000. So I'm trying to let it rebuild before I craft much. But I made like a full set of gear and all sorts of stuff. Hmm.
Yeah, honestly, like, that's kind of how I view Arcade right now. Like, Final Fantasy XIV is my main game, and then I'll have all these other games that I piddle around with when I need a break from that game. I really dig uh, this side of the fence more than uh, the other, the Nuyen side. Uh, mostly because, like, both of them have deserts, but this is like a desert that is kind of, or it's like a, a deserty region that's that's still alive. And the other side of the fence bugged me because, like, it was it was really like a lifeless desert. I like my kitty cat too. The big cat mount is cooler than a horse. Kind of feel like a thunder cat. I was kind of going for the whole panthro thing from Thundercats, but I ended up looking more like a uh, got a, a Navi from from that movie that I'm forgetting the name of right now. This game has some weird optimization issues because, like, most of the time I am running about 78, 80 frames per second. And then all of a sudden I will turn a corner and it will hitch like hell because something is drawing in the distance. Extra progress. Can't do those anymore. Let me try and find the bigger boars. Halo boar matriarch. Maybe they drop the thing I need.
Yep, apparently they dropped it. I really do need to get back into uh, Secret World at some point. Maybe on my next game break I will play that game. Because I haven't been in since they redid the combat system. The landscapes in this game remind me a lot of Lord of the Rings Online, because it's like kind of an understated landscape. It looks almost more realistic. When I last played, I was actually fairly well geared. We were doing nightmares, um, or attempting to do nightmares. I don't know how much the gear has gone up since then. Have they added an additional tier past like 10.3 or whatever that was at? Ah, it's up to 10.5. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that, but... I mean, everything I'm wearing is tier 10 plus something, I don't know. Uh, nightmare drops, so whatever those are, they were purple. Though, admittedly, it's been a very long time since I played, so my memory may be fuzzy on what I actually had. Yeah, I'm all kinds of poorly glyphed and stuff. <laughs> Sweet. The aggro chat folks keep talking about going back and giving it another shot, we just haven't yet. It's a great game, and 
they've done a miraculous job of uh, keeping stuff together in spite of, you know, financial issues. Yes, I, I can tell. <laughs> I also recognize it from your avatar. I'm not messing with that dude. That dude is a five star level 30. He will straight up wreck my ass. There's been a bunch of those that I've encountered. And they've got to be like world bosses that you take on. Okay, so this is going to overachieve me, but there's something else I apparently need to do. I guess maybe these guys? Are some elemental seekers? Yeah. The thing I really like about uh, TSW is the fact that, uh, you know, you can pretty much spec anything you want with one character, kind of like you do with Final Fantasy XIV, and to some extent this game too. I mean, I like that concept of one character and do anything you want on it. Yeah, I spam keys just because it's habit, but um, Arcage tends to have things with long cooldowns, so it's not as painful as other games that get spammy. Yeah, I hope you figure out what's wrong, because, like, that would drive me insane if my uh, streaming hitched. Nah, he's stuck in the thing. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, especially with, like, a, a Dragoon or a Monk, is hitting a lot of keys furiously at just the right time, and... I honestly wonder, with Final Fantasy XIV, if a controller would make it easier on you. I, it's a challenge to get adjusted to a controller, but...
Ah, uh, yeah. I just can't get used to playing on a controller, really. Like, I, I've been playing some ESO on the console, and it it's okay. But it's just, I'm so used to mouse and keyboard that it just feels foreign to me. Need to find more Earth Elementals so I can overachieve. I, I'm kind of obsessive about overachieving. Just because, like, I feel like if I don't overachieve, I'm leaving XP on the table. Which may be why I'm way over level for the area I'm in, but... Okay, sweet. Let me turn back in over here. That's the window I meant to open. I have no idea where this quest leads me. Report to someone, but... Must be behind? Ah, they're behind. I will say that the, the stuff going up into the air from the NPC is super handy for finding stuff. When the wind whips mentioned the roaring, the thorn on your neck tingled, a memory thawed in your mind. You saw hundreds of fearing warriors in crimson cloaks charging into battle. Dozens of different tribes had united to battle the forces of Kyrios. Later, Tayang overheard odd whispers about the fierce wind whips at the Battle of Terenia. You felt in theme with pride at the new term.
Okay, so... That quest has now taken me to a whole other hub. And I will come over here and see if there's something else I can finish up over here. Report to the worker. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Sadly, they're not as good as the ones I made myself. So, yeah. But they look cool, so I think I'll probably save them for uh, appearance. Because I got the chess piece and stuff late earlier. Um, I grew a tree. Carrying packs is painful.
Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Eh, maybe right there. The uh, progression server that looks really interesting to me is the one for EQ2. Um, mostly because, I don't know, EverQuest is too far gone for me. Like, it's it's too primitive from what I'm used to. So I just, I don't know. Like, I've tried to play it and I can't get into it because it's just, uh, I don't know. It doesn't have the comforts of home. I tried to play some DAC a while back too, and it felt the same way. I'd really forgotten just how much downtime both of those games had. I mean, no wonder we had such close relationships, because we spent so much time waiting on things to regenerate that we had nothing to do but talk to each other. Oh wow, Neocron? Man, that's a blast from the past. I didn't even know it was still open. I think the big problem with a vanilla WoW uh, server is that the game has changed so much since vanilla WoW. And I don't think anyone would really still have the, the ability to roll back to that old source code. I mean, that's always kind of been my assumption, is that somewhere along the line someone lost some of that old code. Because they they seem completely unwilling to develop on any of the old underlying systems. Like, we still have a 16-slot bag, for example. That's just insane. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just insane. That... Wow, like, because you would think that, like, this is this big multi-million dollar company and they would have protected their code, but, you know, I guess it's true. Like, there's stuff at work that we don't have code for. I wish these companies would be more open like Daybreak has been with the Project 1999 server. Um... Because, you know, I see they provide a service for the fans. Yeah, the...
I mean, I guess in the reality, I understand how code gets lost. Like, there's a site at work, for example, that I have no code for. Like, I don't know who wrote it. I don't know where it came from. And we just try and keep it limping along as long as we can go. I I just don't have any faith in EverQuest Next right now. I mean, they've got good people working on it, don't get me wrong, but I've lost faith in whether or not that's actually going to happen. Honestly, the thing that's frustrated me a lot recently is uh, some of the stuff that uh, Ari was talking about on uh, her blog, where they've been asking for some very specific assets to be built by the community. So it seems like they're not so much, you know, getting the feedback of the community, but instead trying to outsource the development of community assets, which just seems a little sketchy, I guess. I mean, I've got some friends at Daybreak, and they're trying really hard, but I feel like they kind of got kneecapped in the layoffs.
I swear I probably swim slower mounted. That's weird. Yeah, like I would not think that's a thing, but apparently it is. My kitty can slow sp swim less uh, quickly than I can. No, I didn't hear the big Darkfall drama. What's going on with that game? Like, I've only played it, I think, once and decided it wasn't for me. I I don't know, like, I, I don't know a lot of what's gone on in that community, but from what I've understood, their latest iteration really didn't, like, it, it strayed away from the feeling of how the game originally played. So I can totally see why they'd be upset. I mean, because if you've played a specific game for a very, very long time, and then they pull essentially an NGE like they did in uh, uh, Star Wars Galaxies and change the game drastically, I can see original players being extremely upset. I like that obelisk. Yeah, like I said, I, I haven't really followed that community much. Um, I mean, I, I played the game a little bit to see what it was like, and it didn't really do much of anything for me. So I've not even played the latest iteration. I did notice the latest iteration was up on Steam. Roughly how many people play the game?
I kind of assumed that them putting it on Steam was maybe a first step in the direction of making it free to play. I mean, because that tends to be what happens, is games will go on Steam and then they'll convert them to a free-to-play model. These spawns are way spread out. be used on a ghostly soldier. Okay. Enraged ghosts are not ghostly soldiers. Complete that one. Okay, this is probably going to finish me up here, and then I will head to the new city. Um, probably shortly I'm going to cut things off for a bit and go find food, because I'm kind of hungry now. So I need to go to the store first. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.